So, I asked you guys what videos you want me to make, and I got this response. Breathing techniques through compound lifts, specifically squat. Let's answer that question. So, Hackett and Chow defined Valsalva maneuver for a paper they wrote for the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research as the forced exhalation against a closed glottis. Imagine opening your mouth and we start traveling down. Once you get past your tongue, you're gonna get to a point where there's two holes. One is your esophagus, which food travels down to get to your stomach. And the other opening is your glottis, which is connected to your lungs and is the passageway that air goes through. The closed glottis happens because of this small flap of tissue called the epiglottis, which covers the opening. So, the Valsalva maneuver is taking a huge breath in and holding it within your abdominal cavity. The combination of increasing the volume of air in this space, along with your airway being closed, there's a huge spike in intra-abdominal pressure, which is huge when we're trying to move heavy weight. Spinal stability is a critical part of a lift when it comes to performance and transferring forces throughout your body. A great paper written by Shirley in 2003 found that spinal stability and stiffness is increased with higher levels of intra-abdominal pressure. But what's intra-abdominal pressure? Intra-abdominal pressure is the buildup of pressure within the abdominal cavity, which has the diaphragm as the upper border and the pelvic cavity as the lower border and is covered anteriorly by muscles like the rectus abdominis. So going back to the original article by Hackett and Chow, they found that the Valsalva maneuver significantly increases intra-abdominal pressure. They also talked about the benefits of greater lung volume when performing the Valsalva maneuver and how that will increase intra-abdominal pressure too. On top of all of that, the Valsalva maneuver seems to be unavoidable when lifting heavy weights over 80% or using light weights till failure. So if it's unavoidable when lifting heavy weights, the bigger the breath you get, the better, and all of these other positive factors, why wouldn't we focus on getting as big a breath as you can and holding it throughout your whole lift? One downside of the Valsalva maneuver is that if it's held for longer than three seconds, it can cause dizziness and fainting, which is from the effects it can have on your blood pressure in the moment. If you're having dizziness or you faint, I would first off suggest only holding your breath for one rep at a time. So when the bar is at the top of the rep or on the ground, you're breathing out and then breathing back in again before your next rep. If that doesn't work, take a couple of breaths in between each rep. Or if you're still having problems or you have a history of cardiovascular issues, I would recommend going and talking to your doctor about breathing while lifting. Another cool thing about the Valsalva- Bro, bro, we get it man. Valsalva Maneuver has all these benefits, but how do you even do it? Okay, okay, let me show you how to do the Valsalva Maneuver. I coach people to take a huge breath in before they start the lift and hold it until they're completely done with the lift. So think about getting as big of a breath as you can into your stomach and holding it. What's gonna happen is it's gonna feel like the air is trying to get pushed out of your stomach, but that's good. That's the position we wanna hold the whole time. So, let's go over a couple of common mistakes people make. The first one is when the lifter goes to take a deep breath into their stomach, they end up just holding all the air in their cheeks. And another common mistake is not taking a big enough breath. Imagine you're at the edge of a diving board and you're about to jump off. You know that breath you take before you jump? Do that every single time. Now that you know what the Valsalva Maneuver is, all the benefits of it, and how to perform it, now it's time to go out and lift some heavy weight. 